strike that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? That's why you're going to fail, and the establishment knows no matter how much propaganda, the republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. My family in the Texas Revolution against Santa Ana, my family was at the core on both sides starting that because Santa Ana came to take the guns at Gonzales, Texas. Pierce? Don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. You finished? Yes, I am finished. One of the really cool things about being a magician, at least for me personally, is being able to bear witness to synchronicity. Seemingly random coincidental events that really aren't random or coincidental at all. Many times you'll have a question that you'll either stumble across the answer later or it'll just pop in your head and you'll just know the answer. And typically when that happens, within hours or days, you'll come across something that will confirm that answer for you. And this is one aspect of how synchronicity works. It wasn't very long after I had uploaded the video lesson yesterday on polarity that I came across this video of Alex Jones being interviewed by Piers Morgan on gun control, which confirmed everything that I was talking about in that lesson. Because I was wondering if I was presenting things in a way that most people who listen to it can understand, and at a pace that people can understand, because there's so much to all of this. Didn't I say that talking to a polarized person is sometimes like talking to a five-year-old or a spoiled bratty child? So the Bush administration was part of a conspiracy. Well, to he murder, said never let us tolerate to murder, to murder of to murder, um, I can speak in this accent as well. Yeah. The but is that government, what you believe? Hitler firebombed his own Reichstag, Pierce, mm. to bring in martial law in Germany, mm. April 27th, 1933. Governments have staged terror attacks throughout history or allowed terrorists to attack mm -hmm. as a pretext to invade and enslave the populations. I, prob I probably own more than 50 firearms. Many of them have increased in value two, three, or even four times. I sleep very comfortably uh, outside Austin, okay. Texas, knowing Alex. that I can defend my family. And I was also talking about how part of being balanced is knowing when to shut up and listen and the importance of silence. You finished? Yes, I am finished. You will not take my right. You go through background checks to get guns. How about Prozac? You know the number one. Oh, that's the big sponsor, isn't it? Or that whole class of drugs. Let me ask you a question. Oh, whoa, got to cut that off, don't you? But why would you and not? And so did Mal. Why would you? Why is the government arming to the teeth you? against us? Alex, I don't know. What about what? Fast and Furious? Alex. Why do our government ship guns into down. Mexico? Alex. To blame the Second Amendment? Let's have a debate. A false flag? Alex. To blame the I Second Amendment? Accused. I get accused. Why are they blow up building seven down the street here Alex. in New York? I get accused when I get you guys on of talking over you, of being rude. I'm trying to be civil. Now, truthers, did this so-called interview help further your cause? Or did it serve to help further polarize the people on the issue? And I had talked about how gun control is their hot topic polarization issue now. That in Texas. See, Saturn's in Scorpio right now. And it's going to be that way for a little over two more years. When Saturn was in Libra, it was gay marriage. But you don't hear much about that since Saturn's moved out of Libra. Now, I've seen Alex Jones talk calmly and rationally when being interviewed. But on topics that they want to polarize people, they don't want calm and rational. And you could speak a lot of truth, but body language and the way you conduct yourself is 90% of all communication. Do you think that they don't know that? Honestly? I mean, I can speak a lot of truth, but if I'm acting like a raving lunatic, 
that's what's going to come across. The truth is going to be negated. And the words you're saying aren't going to matter much. The best way to further polarize those in support of banning guns is to act overly aggressive, hostile, and unbalanced to where they fear that you shouldn't have a gun. I couldn't have been provided a more perfect example of everything that I was talking about in that lesson. So thank you, Alex Jones. Synchronicity also happens as a result of your magic. Now synchronicity happens for everyone, it's just that the magician is constantly aware of it. It's the way in which your magic is going to manifest. Things typically just don't spontaneously and suddenly appear in front of you. The exception being conjurations, uh, evocations, and you know some invocation. But that's a whole other topic that we're not going to get into at this time. The way the results of your magic come into your life is through synchronicity. So if I did a ritual for more money seemingly random coincidental events would happen that would bring me more money. And it would seem like a normal part of life except for the fact that you know that you did a ritual to get that to happen. The time it takes is usually in threes, either three days, three weeks, or three months. Not always. I mean, I've had things happen in two weeks. But usually it happens in threes. And even if you don't practice ritual magic, you should be aware of synchronicity. Because, as I explained earlier in a previous lesson, everyone's doing magic, whether they know it or not. You need to look at the things that are coming into your life now. Look back three days, three weeks, three months. See if you can trace it back to something you've done or said or to something someone else has said. Facebook timeline is very good at being able to provide tracking for that kind of thing. So it shall be written, so it shall be done. <laughs> I've been able to trace things coming into my life back to something someone said on Facebook before. and go back three weeks and there it is right there. And not all of it positive. There's a lot of people posting a lot of negative things on Facebook. And you may want to limit your time on there after you're aware of all of this. Because part of being a magician is being able to guard the gates of your mind. If you're not controlling your magic, rest assured somebody else will. Once you're aware of synchronicity in the way that these things come into your life though... You can start to be able to control it. And this is what we mean by being the center of your own universe and magic. When you're in the circle, you're the center of the universe because you're orchestrating it all. Synchronicity now serves you. And I have to say, it's pretty cool when it happens. But synchronicity is what's happening. It's not really the how or why. So we'll get into all that in the next lesson. So, see you then.